All right, well, it is the next day and Mia's car and also Jason's car are supposed to get picked up today. Carlos, Jason's car. I don't know, it's supposed to be here at 7 a.m. <laughs> Jason, Jason, where are you at? Where's your car? Where's your car, dude? Uh, that's going to be an issue because another problem is that Carlos is coming down here, but he's not driving his truck and trailer down here. Apparently, he's using the DDE truck and trailer, which I didn't know about until oh, really? Carlos called me last night. And he's like, hey, is everything ready? Is the truck filled up? And I'm like, I don't know, dude. You're driving it. Is it filled up? He's like, no, I'm not. I'm flying down. Oh, okay. So uh, we got to get the trailer ready. The truck I just drove the other day when we went to Dino the F12. So yeah, I the think truck's fine. Truck's good. The trailer is wedged. The trailer is literally like stuck next to barriers. <laughs> and uh, yeah, and also, yes, we need to mount that that tire. We don't have a spare wheel though. We do. We do? Yeah, it's in that box. Mm. It's in that box right there. I bought one a while ago. The door stop. Yes. <laughs> so that one, uh, we got to mount that thing up. Oh, okay. So... That way, at least, we do have new tires on there, but Casey gets a flat driving from here to Canada and then back. Uh, it's good to have a spare tire, so we are going to mount that thing up when Mark's done uh, warming it up for us. Um, makes it go on the wheel easier when it's all warmed up. And then, uh, Tim, how did the uh, install go yesterday? Uh, the install was fine. The removal of the stock shocks because Damon's car had the uh, air cups. Yeah. Oh, it was a pain. Yeah. Because they were so close to the control arm bolts that... Oh, because like, they were like a lot wider. Yeah, way the, wider. Yeah. It was such a pain. And they were so blown that I didn't even bring them back. Yeah. Because I was thinking about it yesterday because I know you told me to bring them back so that we could put on that car. But we do have the original ones. We have the car. original ones. So okay, we're yeah. That Plus those sense. ones were so blown. I literally took them off the car and I put them on the ground. And while I was working on putting the new ones in, there was a puddle of fluid on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so when I drove Damon's car, especially when we put the bigger wheels on it, like the F12 wheels when they went on there, it was so bad. And trying to like slide that thing around, it was very, very hard to control. It would go, you try to kick it out and slide it, and then it would hop, hop, and then just snap understeer, which could help uh, explain why Damon crashed it into the wall over here. I mean, that definitely didn't help the, uh, yeah, it was not good. But either way, now it's gonna have proper shocks on it, but I guess Dave's will just put back to stock with his original parts that were on that car. Yes. That were way better than Damon's shocks. Yeah, I mean, they'll feel like stock, but. I mean, stock is better than Blown lowered, stock. blown out, just absolute garbage. So, okay. uh, yeah. So we've got to dig those out from the other side? Oh, uh, they're, they're available. They're easy. Okay, let's go get them. <laughs> All right, so somewhere. I feel like it got more unorganized. On these shelves. Um, I thought those were it. Those are not. Those are 550. Those are the 550 shocks. But I know we have them. So maybe we put them in a box and label them? That's yes, 720. They, gotta, they, gotta, they have to be in an A tote. This is all exhaust stuff. And down here, that's the F12 transmission. That's the Mercy diff and axles. Hmm. I think it's this one. I think it's this one. Because uh, that's are, F12. Those are the old headers from the F12. Those uh, nice little restrictive things there. <laughs> Quite different than uh, what it's on it now. Very much so. So, uh, yeah. What about down here? That's all F12, old F12 stuff. Yeah, I'm pretty sure everything down there. Oh, that says 599 on it. Okay, that might be it. This one? That says 599. Okay. So let's move the steering rack that we don't know what it is out of the way. This thing out of the way. Are they nope. in there? Nope, that's the uh, F1 gearbox stuff and uh, the old cross brace that doesn't fit anymore with the current exhaust system. Okay. Those are, these are 599 headers. Headers, pipes, stuff. Um, okay, well, we're gonna have to dig a bit. Hmm. I feel like... I feel like you gotta get up there on that shelf and start digging in the boxes. Okay, I think, well, actually, no, it's not that one because that one, I think, is 550 stuff. That's why we should label them. Yeah, I think... <laughs> half of them are labeled and half of them are just blank boxes. Or maybe they're labeled and they're facing the wrong way. Well, that's another problem. <laughs> so we think we found them. I but, think these are it, but uh, we have a situation now. Yeah, so 
we must have taken something off of the top of these shocks to put onto the KWs. So you do need to go and get those, those back. <laughs> other shocks back. And uh, we'll have to disassemble them and take the pieces that we need to complete this set. It looks like maybe we're just missing the washer for it. Probably something like that. Because this hole is really big. Yeah. Right? Yeah, there's some sort of adapter that goes on there. Right there, probably. Uh huh. That we need, and for some reason doesn't come with the KWs, which is kind of weird. Odd. But either way. At least we found them. Yeah. And these shocks are way better than the ones that came off of Damon's car. Yeah, because the ones that came off of Damon's car, they had these lowering springs on them and like a air ride system, yeah. but it was it was way too low. And as the shocks bottom out, they just blow the shocks out, just destroy the seals in the shocks. So that's why it was so bouncy. There was just the fluid and gas had leaked out of them and uh, they had lost all of their shock control. So it's just like a pogo stick, just bouncing around. These are obviously in much better shape. So uh, we'll use these, but we need some other parts from the other shocks. So we're kind of at a hold with this. And uh, I guess it doesn't really matter because we're not in a huge rush to get that car done. But we do need to mount that tire. So we should go do that so the trailer's ready. And then probably get the truck, make sure it has gas, hook it up. So that's all ready to go. Cool. You're welcome, Carlos. <laughs> so you guys might find this interesting, but uh, being a drifter, usually you mount a lot of your own tires. Well, I have not. Um, I always had other stuff to do, and luckily, down the street from my shop, there was a tire shop, and I was buddies with the guy, so he would always hook me up and mount the tires for me and get it done way, way faster than I ever could. So I've probably mounted, I don't know, maybe 100 tires in my life when there are guys at drift events that mount hundreds of tires a day. So all that being said, I don't really know how to use a tire machine that well, but I'm going to figure it out. I have used this one before helping Tim mount some tires. Tim's mounted more tires than I have. Um, and Sean actually mounted a lot of tires because he used to be a tire mounting guy um, at a tire shop. And then he worked for a tire company uh, out at Drift Events, that tire company that I was sponsored by. Um, and he would mount a ton of tires, so he's pretty good at it. But... I'm not. Luckily, it's a trailer tire and should be really easy to do. Tire machine's pretty good too. So we'll get this guy going. And now it's clamped. And if you guys remember when Dave launched that wheel off of this thing, I think what Dave did was he didn't have all of these clamps set. I think this was like stuck on the edge and then it just popped out and uh, Launched across the room. Hello, Hello Tim. You've come, you've come to help me. Oh, this is already in? It's already in, it's already ready to go. I pulled the core out of there, so the core is gone. And uh, we should be... Yeah, we're all ready to go. We're ready to go. Get, get a little... Uh... You can do that one. Get the loop. Like, I don't like the... You don't like the balancing? No. The balancing is the easy part. It's too complicated. Dude, it's so easy. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's put some lube on this thing. Yeah, I know it's not the right lube. It's just some, like, what is it, Windex or soap with uh, some water? It's just some Dawn Vista. There we go. Very slippery, so it works very well. It works very well unless you're putting it on a drift car where you don't want any slip, and then you're probably just going to spin the wheel inside of the tire. Right, Mark? Yeah. Yeah, does this yeah have put it in dry. Yes. Does this have an inside, outside? I don't know, Tim. You're the tire guy, so not me. Put it on, and we can turn the wheel later if we need to. <laughs> no, I don't think it does. I think it's basically, like, which style... Um, What's the direction? I don't think there's any. I don't think there's anything. No, I don't think there's anything. It's trailer tire. So let's see. Trailer service only. That looks like featuring Durwall technology. All right, I just think we're put good. it on. All right. All right. Something like that. I'm glad Tim came over to do this yeah. so I don't have to do it. But I'll use the balancer because the balancer is actually really easy. But for some reason, Tim doesn't know how to use it because he's a drifter who always mounts drift wheels and he never balanced those. Very, very, very uh, complicated, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> I 
So on this machine, what you gotta do first is turn it on. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. <laughs> it's ready to balance. <laughs> All right, look at all these arms and stuff. See, I'd be over there with the pry bars just trying to do it all by hand. You know, this machine doesn't like doing it by hand. That's what I found out. That's probably why I've struggled so much. I, uh, I try to do it the normal way, but uh, this machine really doesn't like you trying to do it by hand. So it's like, hey, we, we put all of these cool features on here for a reason, so use them. That makes sense. And now, look at that. You got that extra hand over there? Uh, it's a... Uh, it's a little bit tricky sometimes. Yeah, I think you just had it down too much. Almost there. Here, I'll give you a little. A little we'll push. Get, I think, yeah, do you want to leave that pry bar there? Um, I usually do because it pops back up. But, let's see. Yeah, we're going. We're going. I think, I think we'll go up on that a little bit. I'm gonna get ready for the, that thing is massive. So get this thing off of here. Loud noises. Pop, pop. Ooh, bigger. There you go. Oh, that's not gonna hold it down though. Is that? No, see where the... Oh, I see. I'm gonna figure this out real quick. Hmm. Science. <laughs> I mean, they don't make another one. I might, maybe I'll put the cone from the outside. Yeah. Oh, and wedge it against the plate on the back? Yeah, I think that probably will. Is it flat back here though? Yeah. Oh yeah, it is. We're good. Here, you hold that. Okay. You'll have to stick that in there. Okay, now get the cap thing. No cap. No cap. Let's see yeah. if that works. That looks like it works. And it. Alright, and then you take this little thingy and you push it back here on this part of the wheel. Ah. And it goes beep beep beep. Measure the inside, you measure the outside. So this is a seven inch width wheel. Yes. I feel like that's wrong. But I think it's probably a seven inch wheel. It's very narrow. Could even be a six and a half, but we're measuring to the little like curled out. Oh, okay. But basically it knows where the wheel is now. Yep. So close it. Yep, it's straight. We're good. <laughs> okay. And then it tells you. Damn, it needs a lot of weight. Dude, it's a steel wheel on a trailer. That was like sixty dollars. <laughs> it's not a, it's not a highly precision aluminum sports car wheel. All right, so the outer, 0.75. So are you putting on the uh, the fancy weights? Or those. I I found out that no. these are a pain to put on. Yes, but oh, yeah. these are the these are the right kind of weights for this steel wheel. Yes. So let's see what this is. This is a one. We need a 0.75. The outer. That's Wait, it. I thought this is the outer. That is the outer. Oh, you're gonna do this side first. Yeah, well, because that's where I'm lined up. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. And see, it's got the little laser beams here. Yep, so you know exactly where up is. Yep. So, uh, once I find a three quarter. I think it's like a very small uh, one, like one that. of these. Yeah, one. Half. Here's a three quarter. Okay. And then I think you use this thingy. 
Yes, you do. It's such a pain to put on. I've been trying to use this thing like multiple times and it's, uh, it's kind of a pain, especially on the smaller ones. Yeah, I don't know. There's probably some better way to do it. I try to just pry it open. You know, I should just let Mark do this because he obviously knows. Yeah, you know, I got 18 years in the hammer line, it just kind of drives me. <laughs> in the out. hammer line? But not everybody knows what they're doing. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna use the regular weights. Yeah, yeah. You got soft hands like Michael. So. You don't, you can't put these bad boys on. They are, uh, they're not very easy to put on. I uh, try to put those. Soft hands. If you have normal hands, they're hard to put on. Um, I don't know what I'm doing. We should have more to actually try to put. I'll, them. I'll try to put one on. <laughs> Until he's. These aren't that nice of wheels, so I can do it. Until you. Now we got that weight there. Oh, okay. It's and then I'm going to turn this one over here until we get to our 250 point. There it is. There we go. It is. I like it's the, way more uh, complicated than this. You ever seen the, the balancers with the road force? No. Mike, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Yeah, that's cool. They have like a wheel that presses up against the balancer yeah. to emulate road force. I know mm -hmm. it's a, an issue, I believe with like off-road tires, big knobby tires, because as soon as you get road force on them, yeah. it changes the whole dynamics of the weight. Oh, interesting. Because you have like, you know, these like... They distort it. Yeah, like, you know, they, they're a ton of rubber, uh, super deep cuts in the car, and it can have a lot of throw. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, it's interesting. You can have that thing come up and hit the side of the wheel like you hit a curb. Balance yeah, you gotta, you gotta check all the corners. <laughs> Your car comes off looking like it was tracked. <laughs> you know, you're tired. Brand new TEs. <laughs> All right. All right. So outside is good, but we need a another seven five on the inner. Let's see where it's at. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Right there. What are those black ones? A uh, half? They're a half, so we don't have a three quarter, and this is a trailer wheel. So, so we're, we're just not... gonna get it close. That one's dead. <laughs> <laughs> oh, just put that one on there too. All right, might as well. <laughs> just throw it at it. See if it sticks. All right, we got half on there, and if we're within a quarter, I'm happy with that. What if it just balances right now? It might. Yep. Yep. Mike's happy. You know what though? I did cut some to make quarters. Oh, you're gonna try it? Let's see. See if we can get it spot on. I think you can. Best balanced trailer tire ever. Now Carlos is gonna want to blow a tire so he can put this on. <laughs> right, Mark? You know, things that happen out on the open road. Carlos is gonna have a great time driving home because there's <laughs> not gonna be much traffic at all and he'll just be able to rip pretty smooth back That's to true. Canada. That's true. Until he gets back to Canada where they don't celebrate holidays. No, pagans. <laughs> <laughs> Look. Let's go! Oh, we're Whoa. good. All right. Well, that's done. This is not going on the trailer. This is a, a spare, right? This is a spare. Okay. So it'll just go with the trailer. It'll go in the trailer. Oh, it's in the trailer. It's good to put on the trailer. Yeah. It's a good looking wheel. <laughs> Oh, you're going to put those on your CTR next the you know, steelies? No, I won't put steelies, but trying to fit these, like if I cut the fender, it would look the funniest thing ever. <laughs> let's, put some, uh, let's put some tape on it to hold those weights on so they don't fall off. Because this is like, so this powder coat is super slippery, mm. and I'm worried that it might, they're not like super stuck on there, so we'll tape them. I'll put some duct tape Carlos on Carlos has yeah. have something to do. Yeah, he, <laughs> he enjoys <laughs> Mike and Tim aren't at the shop right now and Carlos just showed up. I need to give him the keys to the Ram because I believe he's driving up to Canada today to take two cars up for some paperwork. So let's grab those keys. Here you are, sir. Thank you, sir. What's up, Carlos? How are you? Good, okay, good. Going back to Canada, I guess. What cars are you taking? I'm taking that uh, Porsche and the Aston, aren't we? I believe so, yes. I think uh, Jason just dropped off the Aston right now, and then you're gonna connect the truck to the trailer. Yeah. Heading out today? 
heading out right now, man. Like, literally, if I can get rolling right away, I flew in, I landed at noon. If I can get out of here by three, get through traffic and get up there, then I can be, I could deliver in BC on like Thursday or something. I know That's you mentioned plan. there's some uh, issues with the tires. Is that, is that gonna be okay? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so what, what happens is when you, tow, when you tow with a dually, the front end is lighter, so it hops. And so the, with these knobby tires, it goes one high, one high, one low, and they kind of go up and down. So the tire is like good and then it's not good. So I was just looking at that and I was thinking, just the way that it washes. And so I'm gonna get you to order uh, those, that, what did we say it was called, an AT? So it's like a, an XCOMP AT is their snowflake rating. I'll show you something else yeah. here. In, in Canada, in British Columbia, you have to have minimum an m &S rating. So it's like mud and snow. Gotcha. That's, that's the minimum rating to be legal. Otherwise you just get pulled off the road right there. Yeah. So, but the one we want has a snowflake. It's like a tri-peak. It's like a mountain with like a snowflake in the middle of it. That's a real winter tire. And so that other tire has that, and that's the one that would be way better. But anyway, these guys are starting to get to the end of their life. Gotcha. Do you want me to order the tires and bring it to the HQ here or drop them off at August? Man, if you could get them to August, that would be meant. Okay. That would be the best, yeah. Yeah, getting them straight up there. And then I could change them up there and then it's snowing. <laughs> All right, cool. Yeah, so we'll order them and then we get up to August then. What's wrong with it? Carlos, you are here. I'm here now. Everything's gonna be all right now. Everything's okay. Right? So we got these two cars that you're taking with what you. What do you think about it? I think this is a cool idea, man. I think it's a cool project. I didn't recognize that car in its uh, ghost trim. You know, like when you know, like when manufacturers. Uh, yes. Are, are test drive. That's what it is. Right? Yeah, that's that's, that's basically. Lines. Yeah. Yeah, what it looks like, right? Yeah, and I like how he's got like drag slicks on it. What's the story with yeah, the big fat, <laughs> big fat rubber on it? We were just saying that. We were like, yeah. man, it's got a really like a uh, tall profile it's gonna on that like tire. It's really nice. It's, yeah, it's a, what is it, a 305? Yeah, it's a 305 30 19, but it still looks like. Dude, that, this, will, this, will, this will improve the ride of this car like in a major way. It just, it I don't just, think they're any taller than the stock ones. Wow, but I mean, as opposed to going low pro like everybody does. Yeah. But honestly, dude, it looks like a drag slick. When you stand over there, it's like, oh, he's building a drag racer. Yeah, especially because <laughs> since the wheels are all black, yeah. you don't really see the lip. Yeah, that's right. So it makes it even look that might even sidewall even taller. Yeah. 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 So yeah, that means cool. it's going to be really easy for you to load it by yourself, right? Since it's got those tires on it, you can just drive them in and... Yeah. That's yeah. what, I, what yeah. I was guy. <laughs> what I was saying to Guy was that everything's easy after the friggin' drift car. <laughs> yeah, that the five fifty. <laughs> that was a five fifties. Yeah, well, it's it's hard to load. It's hard to load, right? The it was easy to drive the five fifty. Super easy to drive, super fun. Damon doesn't know, but you can actually turn it around on his street just with a little bit of one of these to get it loaded up. On the he car. does know that you can do that. He just didn't know that you did that. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, what are the chances? that I can hear this thing run, even without the drive shaft. Is, is that like a doable thing? I think we can make that happen for you. So? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. What do you think of that, Mark? I actually haven't heard it. You haven't heard it either. What are you, what are yeah. you doing? It's so I'm good to see you, man. I'm so <laughs> glad to see this You guys, guy. and Tim. Tim hasn't heard it since it's been tuned either. Oh, no, really? I wasn't there. I yeah. was busy putting, uh, helping Jason, making uh, Jason's dream come true. Jason's <laughs> dream come true. I think that's cool, man. That's a cool car. What I think is cool is, how much work he's putting into it. He's flying up to Canada to to be there at Velocity when they do the whole tune and everything. He's gonna be there yeah. for three days. Oh, he's gonna oh, yeah. touch him? I don't know what he's gonna do there, but I don't know if he knows where he's going, but it's a tiny, tiny little town. All he'll be able to do is be at the shop. Yeah, yeah. so it's awesome. I don't think he minds so anyway. Cool. I think like, it's gonna be awesome for him, yeah. yeah. And they're good dudes up there, so. Okay, let's do this, man. All right, and then you gotta get the truck and the trailer, and we gotta hook that up. So we did mount a spare tire for you. You did? Yeah. So, so we had a wheel that, and a tire. Was that at the same time that somebody broke off? Dude, somebody might, you know what I think happened? I bet somebody was trying to see the burnout ring and they stood, you know, there's like a battery. What happened? You know, the battery on the tongue. Show me. Yeah. Well, here's your, here's your tire. We'll roll this out there while you're, you're uh, a spare tire, meaning there's a loose spare tire for you if you want. You don't, oh dude. Okay. okay well, just, yeah, pick that thing up. You're strong. 
I would have just rolled it, but man, he's got that. He's got that trucker strength. <laughs> oh, you already you already hooked it up. I already hooked it up, dude. Oh, heck yeah! I thought we weren't messing around today. I thought we were like, like <laughs> we're not we're not messing around. We thought you were messing around. I thought it was a serious. I thought we were doing serious work today. Every day. That's only on Mondays. <laughs> Where is it? Yeah, I put it here because we gotta fix this battery. We have to fix this battery box. What happened? What'd you do? What did I do? I broke it off. I guess I break everything. <laughs> it's yeah. seriously, it's broken. Yeah, like somebody stepped on it and it, it's broke it off. Oh, like, so it. at the block party then? Yeah, that's right. There. Oh, when the everyone time. was here. Oh, yeah. on the time. Yeah, yeah. No big deal. We'll just fix. Now that you're here. Yeah, well, I gotta go actually. I have to leave. I just remembered it's five o'clock and I have to leave now. Five o'clock somewhere. What are you doing here on Thanksgiving, Carlos? Thanksgiving was in October, don't you guys know? Yeah, That's when your Thanksgiving is? You guys have nothing to be thankful for. Did somebody tag on the trailer too? Oh, someone put a little oh, it's a sticker. It's oh, a it's sticker a sticker. Here. Okay. Thanks yeah, for being so courteous. Not a big deal, but like you could tell that somebody would have stood on this. Oh. And broke oh. it off. So I think if we, we'll, we'll just gotta get the screwdriver Sub-ties. for this, and <laughs> we could. But yeah, let's let's do a let's do like a really fancy CNC job. Let's build a new box right now. Yeah. All right, Carlos, the plasma's there. <laughs> All right, we got the. Uh, oh my boy! Don't worry about that, Tim. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't part correctly. <laughs> it's, it's it's machine error, not user. <laughs> it doesn't part correctly. <laughs> Oh, do you have an impact? Why? What? Oh, you're not gonna drive it in? No, no. What? What? It's got. Look drive at it. It's it got. In. It's got its own new holes. All right, it's all just right, this right. one broke off, so we'll just move it to the next to the, the next step. Tools. What do you mean drive you it? You could have brought the electric ratchet. Yeah, That's yeah. what I was gonna say. Like a little zip zippy. Is that not in the budget or? It's in the budget. No, Tim just hates power tools for some reason. I mean, I respect the like you know hand tools, but like. There's a time we and a place. also get this done. No, this nah, is I great gotta, though. But I you know what? Push. There's more time together, right? So it's kind of nice. <laughs> Carlos gets paid by the hour. I get paid by the hour. I get paid by the hour. Oh, what happened to this? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, so how? That was going to be another so question. So how does it go up? Yeah, exactly. You put a jack under it and you just lower the leg. Oh, my bro. So you, when you're up there, you're going to do some maintenance on this bad boy? I'd like to, yeah. Yeah, throw yeah. a new, uh, throw a new crank, a uh, little lifty thing on it, whatever you call those. A lifty doohickey? A oh, no, cranky, cranky, cranky boy? I think it's called a lifty doohickey. I think so. That's a technical term. Yeah. Um, I, uh, yeah, man, it depends on how fast they try to turn me around. So I don't know exactly what's happening yet. I think you got time. You think so? From what I've heard. Yeah, I hope so. If, if it's up there for two weeks, then I'll have time to do some work on it for sure. Yeah. Dial her in. Yeah, yeah. Next time, uh, weld the bolt all the way around. Not yeah, just, uh, yeah. You know, well, yeah. yeah. My yeah. guy did that, and I. Yeah. So guy. this thing, this thing's about probably two hundred dollars Canadian. So that's out of the budget. So just weld another nut on there. <laughs> <laughs> Look, we don't have much of a trailer budget here. <laughs> All right, look at this teamwork. It doesn't take two two men to do a job. No, this is a union job, buddy. What are you talking about? <laughs> so, yeah, you guys are just going to want to get that level. Make sure it's going into the same hole. Oh, as long as you, as long as you guys Supervisor Mark. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, brother, they got me out of the truck for this. I'm just here to watch. <laughs> so, like, if you had, um, like, an electric tool to do this with right now, yeah, yeah. Be, like, it, we would already be done. But it, this is better because I feel like... You know, I really feel like I'm learning right now. This is a bonding moment. This is bonding, man. It's you know, it. and this it's is just a it's just four dudes. We're all hanging out, hanging just out. hanging out by just the four by chill the truck. Dudes. Carlos, we're the other kind of kicking it, just all here to watch Tim put this box on. Carlos, should get me the new merch out? No, I'm I'm, just I'm ready for it. Here. I should. It's cool. Well, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. It's the truck here that that we. Uh, what happened here? Maybe it's a truck. Should we re, should we re rhino line it? I this thought Rhino fine. liner wasn't supposed to get oh, damaged. Oh, shoot. That's why you put yeah, yeah. the rhinos in so, those liners. So on a serious note, what you do is, <laughs> in the, what we'll do, I'll do it up there. All right. Is you put, I get these rubber mats that go in, or you just put a piece of plywood in. 
Are I don't know. I don't know what happened because I never even used this truck. Yeah. I always use my truck. So yeah. I'm not sure. Somebody trash. dragged an engine. That's heavy, heavy. Do that. And it's dented now. So when we picked up the engine for the F12, which is the last engine we picked up and probably the only engine we put in anything, that was, your truck. That was my truck. Yeah. So I don't know what happened there, but I like. I like blaming you for it though, so I'm just, we're going to stick with that narrative. That's cool. <laughs> okay, All right, that's box is done. That's Carlos the broke that box. We fixed it. <laughs> what do you got there? I've never seen an Aston Martin key before. That's, it's it's like got a, little... a lot of shapes and colors here. Yeah. And I'm really interested in what the yellow does. That's you know? for, um, oh, that's for... Don't tell me, don't tell me, don't tell me. That's for James Bond use only, Mark. Oh, dude, the lights turn on. Did they? Yeah. It's not a lot. Oh, oh, yeah, I see that. The little, uh... Those little lights. Okay. Okay, it's locked. Press the button. Still locked, so I guess it's just like that's strange. <laughs> so you can find your car in a dark parking lot. Maybe. Yes. Uh, that's obviously that. That's obviously the trunk. <laughs> that's the unlock. Yeah. Alright, I'm gonna go open that door and help Carlos. What a weird key though. It is really weird. It's like a just like a dowel kind of a thing. Yeah, that's strange. Drag tires on, so I don't know what you're just playing yeah, Drag tires. <laughs> Alright, so Look at how clean. this is the cleanest. This is the cleanest DDE car. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> this is not a DDE car. This, this is, is way too Jason clean is uh, very, very meticulous Bro, yeah. and cautious with his cars, which is why he basically manages PFS because attention to detail is like, like no other. Everything on this car, he's gone over, checked everything, and he's very cautious with it. So he is, he's that guy that you want to be running a wrap shop at this caliber so it's wild to look at cars with jason because i'll look at it and be like oh this paint's pretty cool and he's like you can see it ran right here this has obviously been repainted and i'm like <laughs> I'm, just trying to, I'm trying to see what he sees but yeah like you said obviously that's the guy you want to actually work on your car yeah to manage it yeah now having jason as a customer jason i love you but if you're one of my customers you wouldn't be my customer for very long because i'd be like dude i can't handle this <laughs> You're, what are you going to do to burn out? Uh, we're going to do a brake stand, see how much of the clutch we could use up right now. <laughs> and then we're just going to rip it in here as fast as we can. And if it doesn't clear, you see, the faster you go, it'll just make it clear. Send it, buddy. <laughs> All right. Uh, Tim, do you mind watching that front? I just want to see if it goes right, but I don't Do you mind? <laughs> I don't need to. Stop, 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 stop. Okay, you're good. You're good. <laughs> Yeah, you're good. Yeah. No, you got plenty of room with yeah, this dude, thing. You got all-wheel drive here. All -wheel drive. We're sitting high. Oh, he's great. He's like he's done this before. You got more room on the right. Yeah. Is it inside then? Uh, no. How many times okay, have you passed that before? <laughs> 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 you're, you're all clear. You're good there. You can go up. Well, that Tim can't even see in front of you, but he's saying you can go up. <laughs> Looks good to me. What do you think, Mark? So what's the get out of the car situation? Oh, it works. Yeah. Dude, you know how to eyeball it. You yeah. have to get out of the window. <laughs> because yeah, race car. I'm impressed. Can you get out? I can get out. What's this door style called? This is my second time. I don't know. Aston Martin there's, style. Well, there's Falcon door. There's the Goldwing door. There's a regular door. And this one has a name. I can't remember what it's called. Falcon. I do. I do not know. No, this is the door. Falcon door. Is the like model whatever. Tesla these are door. these are Falcor doors. <laughs> Your mom's front door wide open. All right. Um. <laughs> Makes the joke for himself. Sets it up. Tight. <laughs> Right there. <laughs> <laughs> you should have 
Ready? Dude, for me, this is so tidy. This is what gets me for this car. This whole combo right here. Right nice on. and clean. Like the, like your brake lines. Yeah, so that's all the uh, fire system stuff. And then we have brake and clutch lines here. And then, the, yeah, all the wiring that goes through. Sorry, this is fire suppression? Yeah. Really? Yeah. So do you have like a fire extinguisher in the back? Yeah, look through the back window here. Oh. Yeah. So where does it shoot it? So it's got it's got two nozzles in the back, right there. Oh, okay. And oh. right there. So that goes to the fuel cell. And then we have one inside that's uh, right there pointing towards the driver. Yeah. And then we got four in the engine compartment. So it's got, uh, it's kind of hard to see, but there's yeah, 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 one over there, over there, and then two. Well, you guys do a test right now? Yeah. Of the fire yeah. <laughs> test it out. All right, so you guys ready to hear this thing? Yeah. You have to have a helmet on or no? Tear it apart, and, <laughs> and now, everybody we talked to would be like, "Oh my god, what's going on over there?" Yeah, and I remember like, even oh, you. You're like, oh, "I don't know what we're gonna do." This is wild, dude. Yeah, this is so cool. Yeah, oh, I know. Dude. I know there were a lot of doubters out there <clears throat> that did never second, that second. never you, thought you were one of the doubters. <laughs> no, I wasn't a doubter. No, I was like, "Well, as long as we have the budget yeah, and the I'm time saying. to do this, yeah, we'll do it." Yeah. But there were a lot of people that were like, that car will never run. Oh, no. And, yeah. hey, guys, it runs, by the way. You doubted the wrong guy, guys. <laughs> yeah, dude. Seriously. It's a, it's a beast. We're going to hit the track real soon. Honestly, man, like, it's just, there's so much to take in. Because really, realistically, it's been two years on just this. No. No. So I, I started working on this project a year and a half ago. And then when we moved here, it sat for almost six months. So oh. overall time on the car has been about a year, but also we had a lot of other cars we were working on in between that as well. So we had some, we had some downtime with um, issues getting parts for the engine, yeah, yeah. issues getting like parts here and there. So that took a while, but I think start to finish like actual work build time is probably about nine months. What, what do you think you have for hours in it? Uh, nine months. Yeah. No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so that's like two years. It's like if you're building this in your garage, that's 15 years. Yeah. If you're building this in your garage, props. That's yeah. wild. Yeah. That is unbelievable, dude. Is yeah. anybody talking about? 
the amount of time and like anybody tallying up the numbers or is that not even something we're talking about? I don't like, know if like anybody the, has like the, the time to do that, yeah. to tally it all yeah, up. Yeah. yeah. This is a real deal race car, dude. Oh yeah. What are you gonna do for a hood? Um, well, the plan is to scan the entire car and have everything custom made. Oh. Everything. So basically, we'll keep the roof and the pillars, but all of this will get cut off so we can build proper like crash structure back here. Oh, okay. And then these will get replaced with like a carbon fiber or Kevlar or fiberglass like quarter panel. Yeah. The shape might change slightly. It all depends on what Damon wants to do and his, yeah. you know, his design yeah. vision. Um, oh, you think you'll change the shape? We might. I mean, we'll make it, we'll, we'll widen it up a bit. And then, you know, how race cars have like the wider exits in the rear and we'll have mm -hmm. some like... Some venting. Some in and venting, out yeah. some, a big diffuser, some cool stuff. But that's all in the works. We need to test the car first and make sure that it works the way we want it to. And the car actually changes how it drives when you add spacers and take away spacers. So you mm -hmm. make the front track wider, you make the rear track wider or narrower. And it changes the way the car drives completely. So we need to dial that in first and then go, okay, this is what we like. This is where we want the wheels to yeah, sit. Yeah. Then we scan it and we can have the bodywork fit to that yeah. rather than just going, yeah, make it two inches wider. And then we're worried about trying to make the wheels fit. And then it, the car doesn't work good like that. And, and okay, so have you guys scaled it yet? Like have you done the four corner scales? Or that, no, not That's yet. gonna be part of that process though, right? Yep. So yeah. We'll, yeah. we'll do a full, we're gonna shake it down first. Yeah. So right now we have the right height set, set the same, yeah. but I have a lot of adjustability in the front end to get the angle set the way yeah. I want it to. Yeah. So once we dial that in and move stuff around, then, then we'll put it on the scales, see what it weighs, and do a full corner balance and really dial it in, and then we'll do the fine tuning stuff to, to make it perfect. But, but again, if you go and put a cage in it, if you go and put more crash structure in it and stuff like that. Things are going to change a little you're bit. Gonna, but you're going to want it to have all that in mind, right? Oh, yeah, definitely. And that's we from the start, from building the car. Like, we have the battery behind the passenger seat as low as possible to offset the yeah. driver's weight. So we've put more weight on that side okay. as far as we can. So you the don't water pumps on that side. Yeah. Anything that weighs a little bit more has been pushed to the passenger side to offset the driver's weight. So you won't have to add weights later. No, we, we, we shouldn't have that anyway yeah. to it, and it should be really balanced. So the cage that's in it, this other structure in the back, the other structure is going to be it's probably just... about the same weight because we're going to cut all of this material off. Yeah, and it is aluminum, so it's not too heavy. No, but we're going to chop all of that off and cut these frame rails off, and then box them, yeah. and then make like a a tube crash bar yeah. back here that's easily yeah, yeah. replaceable. Oh, okay, so that if it taps anything, because obviously he wants to drive this car with a lot of proximity and bump into things because that makes it look cool on video. Yeah, of course. So we want to be able to have five or 10 spare yeah. crash bumpers, three or four quarter panels for that side, three or four for this side, like mm -hmm. bumpers, deck lids, all this stuff that's easily swappable. Yeah. So you smack it and then the next shot, it's all back together and it's good to go. So, so like this, everything here is aluminum, right? Yep. The like whole the chassis. whole, the whole thing. Yeah. Yeah. So I'll cut that off and weld yeah. aluminum plates to it. Yeah. And cut it off in a spot where it's really strong. Yeah. Where this is basically made to crush. Yeah. So we want to get rid of all of that and build our own. Yeah, like ready. Like, you're ready something that we plate. can replicate. And then bolt onto that plate. Yes. Yeah yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah, And this other stuff will be not aluminum though. Correct. It'll be steel, but it'll be thinner yeah. wall steel tubing, yeah. like yeah. Uh, chromoly 0952. tube. And then yeah, it's probably gonna weigh about the same as it does now as when we swap all that. Because we'll get rid of this bumper beam and a bunch of stuff. So, but, but but overall, it's gonna look like an F12. Like it'll look yeah, like we're not gonna make it to. look like yeah. a different car. Because that wouldn't, yeah. That would yeah, we sense. want it to yeah. look like a Ferrari yeah. and so on. Are you gonna want ones. lights in it? Yeah, we might change them out. I I have an idea for some some LED lights that still are circle. Okay. But then we get rid of the Ferrari factory lights that cost a million dollars a side, you know, and we're breaking breaking lights, then uh, that's gonna be expensive. I can see there's a car I can. There's quite a few cars that, and there's some, some aftermarket ones yeah. that look a lot like these for other cars to try to make them look like a Ferrari. So we might be able to do that, but we could also do something cool with like a, a tube with LED on the inside. So it's kind of like a glowing tube. Mm -hmm. I mean, we have a lot of options because- GTR lights. So put some GTR lights on it. Yeah. 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 The <laughs> infinity lights. C6 Corvette, Mark. C6. Come on, brother. We gonna get you some lights in this car. Uh, I think that uh, there's an outfit called Dapper Lighting, I think, and they build they build them for classic cars, and they've got these round LED lights. Yeah. Probably can't say other names of places, but yeah. Yeah. But anyway, um, 
That's wild, dude. Yeah. This is wild. This is crazy. Yeah. Yeah. It's a it's an absolute beast of a car. And uh, it's running. Dude, it's so cool. Yeah. And driving. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. With all the. Dude. Anyway. Yeah. I I I remember when the car got built. You know. When it went to Texas and all that, this is the same. Memory lane for Carlos right now. He's like, What's oh, that? man. It's like going down memory lane. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. I remember when I first saw a Ferrari. <laughs> yeah, when I first, first time I saw it. You know what this car is? This is the car where I can't put this in there. This is the car. This is the car. So this car, the first time I crossed it across the border, is, is one of the first times I ever got turned back at the border. <clears throat> but all these people were waiting for me. So... I get to the border, they're like, there's no way you're going, and there was a camera what the reasoning was. There's was something wrong. This is in Canada trying to get through to the US. In Canada to bring it to the US, and it had to get to Texas. Yeah. Okay. So oh, to do the Kaufman exhaust. To do the first yep. the first the first build. Yeah. And um, and so I get turned around. So I turn around, I don't know what to do, because I got the thing in my trailer. So I just like sat in my truck for 20 something hours and just <laughs> waited for all the paperwork to the reprocess. Then I cross it and then we got it down here. But yeah, this is the same car. Yeah. Yeah, this thing is sick, dude. And then it went, oh, it's been through so much. Yeah, I know. It's got this a, it's is got so a long, wild to be here. long history. That must be four or five years, yeah. Yeah, I think it's been since, a long time, dude. I think Damon said five, four years since he bought it. Oh, never mind that. First time I met Damon was because of this car. This is the burnouts in the snow car. Mark, you should figure, I, I think it is. We, we're going to have to look up the very first time I ever met Damon. Yeah, I pick him up and I pick him up in Kelowna with his new car and we're driving up and over the Coquihalla. He got in the truck with me. We go all the way Just up. Just like as a stranger? I had never met him before that. We, we no, like, I, I mean. <laughs> He's like, hey buddy. Yeah, dude, it was our first time meeting. And we went up there, we offloaded the car because we found three inches of snow at this rest stop. We offload the car and we do burnouts. And then finally this snowplow guy comes by you guys stop doing that, you're gonna turn all into ice. So we loaded it back up and that's the first time I met David, dude. <laughs> Seriously, this is the car. That's yeah, crazy. totally. Yeah, that's rad. Um, anyway. And now uh, it's this. Yeah, now it's like this, yeah. 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 We'll also do that again. <laughs> you didn't like that? <laughs> oh, no, no, I mean, we'll have to snow. take the car to the snow. Snow. Dude, I was up in that rest area the other day and I was like, I was remembering that and I was like, oh, that would be cool to go back with this because it's this huge parking lot. And it's usually, it's usually empty in the daytime. Yeah. You'd be so rad to take this up there and just do like a big smoke show, yeah. I don't think that's legal, but sure. I, and, and I know over here at DDE, we try to do everything by the book. 